What's up, Droners? B here with Droner Tech, brought to you by RemotePilot101.com, the people who hooked me up with the ability to pass the test to get my commercial drone license. Check them out. They're fantastic. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here is to talk about the original Mavic Pro, and is it still worth it? It's a good question in 2020. A lot of good questions in 2020. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is the Mavic Pro, the original. This is how it all started with the folding drones for DJI. Before this, all you really had was a Phantom. And the Phantom is a fantastic drone at the time, but the stability that the Mavic brought as a flat surface of a drone is crazy. I remember when this first came out, there was a bunch of YouTube videos of these drones being hit with water hoses, running them into poles, and they just don't stop flying because this is one of the most robust drone platforms and designs that has ever come out. It's so effective and so efficient that to this day, in 2019, the most recent Mavic came out and tell me that you see that much of a difference in the design. That's how good and effective this design was. Like they created this design and they did not change it much. As you can see, it is very, very similar. So the real question is, is this obviously costs a lot more than this? Cause this is the Mavic 2 Pro. We're gonna put you back to your home real quick. And the thing is I was wondering is I was working on another video for you guys. I had pulled this out and I haven't flown this drone in over a year. And then I had an inspiration as I flew it. I'm like, is this, is this drone still worth it? Like, would I recommend this drone to somebody who was just getting into drone flying or said, you know, the casual person that's like, I want to learn how to fly. I want to get a good drone. And so it led me down a rabbit hole of wondering, like, how much do they cost now? How does it compare to the new stuff? You know, like, is the juice worth the squeeze? So here we are. I'm going to give you guys my analysis and my breakdown of what I thought and what I think is, is this drone still worth it? So for a couple things for me is first is that this drone impressed me because I had to pull out all my old Mavic Sparks and everything like that, and I had to figure out, I had to charge all the batteries, had to update all the software and the firmware and all this other kind of stuff to be able to get them to fly for another video that I was making. And this one is the only drone that had literally zero problems. It updated the firmware like that. All the batteries that were completely dead at this point, all charged up with zero cell damage. This drone came out in late 2016. I bought this drone in late 2016, and I've had this same drone since then and it has not caused me a single problem in that whole time. It's almost like the forgotten child that I thought I, I didn't remember I had. This drone right here, I'm, I'm a fan and I have forgotten because other things came out that were so much more flashy. You know, when the Mavic 2 or the Mavic Air came out, I was like, oh, this is my favorite drone. It still is my favorite drone. And then the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic 2 Pro came out. And then obviously the Phantom 4 Pro was a big deal for me because the camera on this can't compare to that. So I couldn't really use this drone for, for, for professional purposes. If you're looking for a professional drone camera to put on TV shows and movies, this ain't it. But if you're looking for a drone that is one has some of the most accessories in the game, is pretty well priced to be honest, still has 27 minute flight time, which is very good even today for almost any drones that come out, has a 4K, 4K 8-bit camera on it. And I mean, it's just as compact and reliable in the air as any of these other drones are. This may be worth it. So let's talk about some of the accessories first, because one of the things is that this drone has went, the, DJI went ham with the accessories. They were pretty much like this drone right here, we're gonna accessorize to the fullest extent because they were surprised by the success of this drone after it came out. It came out, they're like, we don't know how people are gonna react to this. Everybody bought it. So of course they made a bunch of accessories. Let's talk about some of them. I have a couple here. This one actually made me a good amount of money one time because these are propeller cages. And what these propeller cages do is they pretty much turn this drone Wait for it. I can do it. These propeller cages turn this drone into two things. Number one, it becomes one of the safest drones that I've ever flown because the, the entire propellers are in this cage. It's very safe. You can run this into a wall, a toddler, whatever you want. It's really not going to hurt anybody. Um, it's very, very, you, can, you have to literally stick your finger through the cage to get hurt by it. And that's a real accomplishment while it's in the air. But these things are way the drone down. The flight time goes down a lot. But the second thing that it turns the drone into is the loudest drone that has ever existed in life. This drone was so 
loud. Whenever you fly with these other propellers, because you have to put shorter uh, these shorter propeller blades on it to be able to put these on because they're just a little bit shorter than the regular blades here. So you put these blades, these new blades on it, you fly it, you got you a new extra safe drone that is really well suited for flying indoors. One of my favorite accessories for any drone I've ever had outside of the noise factor. And it came in use a lot of times for clients that wanted things indoors and they wanted something really, really safe and the bumpers just weren't doing it for them. So I use this in really fun spaces and also it's really fun to do like some YouTube videos with it because you can actually set things on top of the cage and it will carry them. So I've seen videos and I've actually done it before of people putting like half empty drinks on top of the drone and like ship like drop flying them over to people because the stability on this drone is that good and these propellers pretty much put a table on top of the drone. So you can just be like all right cool fly it over to you because these things are that cool. DJ goggles. This drone upset me so much one day when I found out that this gimbal right here, this three axis gimbal, this one right here, you see that little thing? Hold on, let's get you out here, girl. You see this right here? That three axis gimbal right there that you only can tilt down and up. That's all you can do. If you, during the time of this drone, if you wanted that to turn left or right, you turn the drone left or right. That's just how it worked. And the only time you could actually have a controller turn a camera on a drone left or right was with an Inspire at the time, that was it until the DJI goggles came out. You turn your head left and right, and this camera turned left and right with, right with them. And I'm just like, DJI. Are y'all serious right now? Are you trying to tell me you have a controller right here that has two knobs on it? Two. There's two knobs on this controller. One of them tilts the camera. What does this one do? Oh, oh, it changes the shutter speed. That's what that does. That changes shutter speed. But the camera is physically able to turn left and right. That's very interesting, DJI. And what makes it even more interesting is that this is actually, as far as I'm concerned, please correct me in the comments if you're wrong, the only Mavic series dr drone that you can actually fly with two controllers. This is the best training drone I've ever had because you can put a second controller on this drone and teach somebody how to fly it and still have the master controller. And if they start messing up, you can take over control from them and be able to do that. Now, obviously you can do that with the Inspire series because it's a two controller drone, but this is a Mavic. And you can fly this, you can connect two controllers to this and be able to teach somebody how to fly on that. That is incredible. If you're a teacher, if you have a drone school or you have a way that you want to teach people how to fly and you don't want to buy an entire Inspire series, these are the best training drones you can think of. So this actually has, like I said, accessories that no other Mavic has, which is pretty impressive because like I said, this drone is the first one that came out, but they put a lot of work into all these accessories that came with it. Now you're kind of, at this point, you're probably wondering, well, what about the camera, Brennan? Well, the camera's okay. And <laughs> I just, that's all I can say. The camera is okay. What you have here is a 4K camera that is shooting 24 frames, only at 60 megabits a second. So it's not even as good as a Mavic Air when it comes to the quality of what you're getting. So I actually remember when I got the Mavic Air, I never flew this again because the Mavic Air's quality was better, but it's not bad. It's really not that bad. It's not, like I said, it's not really television quality good, but it is a very decent camera. I'd say it's like comparing, kind of like saying like, well, my iPhone 7 can shoot. It's like, yeah, but I got an 11. Like it's, yeah, that can shoot cool stuff, but it can't shoot like this. You know, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same at all, but it still looks good. You can tell what you're shooting. And for me, this is like the ultimate training drone. How much does this drone cost? You really want to know that because all the things I've said, all the accessories, whatever, it doesn't matter unless you know what it costs. And what this drone costs is $1,100 still, four years later, brand new on Amazon. Or if you go to eBay, you can get it for $800. I would go to eBay, just put it out there. <laughs> I would personally go to eBay. And if we are talking about the $800 package, I'd say that this drone does have its place. It still has its place. It's reliable, it has long flight time, it has unlimited accessories. You can get all the accessories for cheaper than you can get any other drone accessories. Everybody wants to get rid of all the things for it. If you're learning how to fly and you wanna be a good camera operator, a good drone pilot, this is not the worst choice. Now, is it the best choice? I'm not sure. Because if you can look at this drone and get this, if you can pay $1,000 for this drone, for this one and the accessories, then you can get a fly more combo with the Mavic Air 2. And there's no question that this is a better drone. This drone has a camera that is professional quality need be. It also has much longer flight times, 34 minutes. So that's pretty significant. And you get all that, you get the fly more combo and everything for under a thousand dollars with this. So there's not really a reason. And it has more object avoidance and it has, you know, a better controller and all that stuff. So this drone is definitely better than this drone. But I'd say if your homie is trying to sell you this drone, 
and it's used and something's going on, like they're giving you a good deal and you can get this drone for five, six hundred dollars, something like that with all the accessories that comes with it, completely worth it. If you're buying it new, I'm not gonna say that it's worth it um, today. I think it's still a very solid drone platform, it's still a very solid drone and it is the foundation of what we know as the Mavic series. Does that make it irrelevant now? No. Does it make it necessary or still completely relevant? Not really. It's pretty much a what's your situation kind of buy. If you're thinking about buying it, like, yo, what's, what, why are you buying this though? And if you have a good reason, if you want to use the propeller cage, if you want to be able to, you know, play Grand Theft Auto with your own body in the sense of like literally like putting these on and flying behind yourself and walking around in third person is absolutely hilarious. Um, then yeah, it's a great drone for that too. Otherwise, I might, I might steer you somewhere else. But either way, it's definitely the most solid, might be still the most solid flying drone in the Mavic series and how well it sticks in the air and just how smooth the controls are. Like it's a very solid flying drone. So I love it. I would train people on it, but I don't know if I would buy it anymore because I just, I just can't justify it. All right, Joners, thank you guys so much for checking out my age-old review of my age-old drone. Uh, remember, this was brought to you by RemotePilot101.com. If you want to see more videos, we got them on the Facebook, on the YouTube. Subscribe, like, share them, do all the things. Show us you love us, and we'll keep making videos for you. And as always, make sure you stay fly.